Hey ladies and gents, welcome to my review of Holland's Storm gameplay mod for eFootball PES 2021, which I've been using the past few weeks, especially if you've been following my Newcastle United Master League. So if you're after increased realism, then this mod might just be up your street, but it does have some flaws which I'm going to cover in this video. There are a lot of similarities, honestly, between this and Holland's Soccer Revolution mod. And we'll just take a closer look at the score sheet later on in this video just to compare the differences. But the most key noticeable difference for me were the ball physics. It's probably the most realistic to date in terms of trajectory, the pace on the ball, the weight and the way it rolls. There's just a real nice feel to playing passes and receiving the ball, which is much improved over the Soccer Revolution mod which could feel a bit grindy and slow at times. Holland has further increased the pass error with crosses a little bit more unpredictable and free kicks are much harder now. Whenever I use a gameplay mod, I always opt for the lesser goalkeepers, adding more randomness and far more realism than the default gameplay in terms of the saves goalkeepers can make. And it makes for a much more enjoyable experience. If you like the, you know, if you like to increase the amount of long range strikes that go in, then I definitely recommend this, although it's still difficult to score long ranges on this gameplay mod due to the increased shot error, which adds a nice balance to the gameplay. Whilst long range shots will go in, there's obviously a greater chance of the ball actually missing the target altogether. Shots that you expect to go in also have a chance of missing now, so sometimes I'm actually surprised myself when a player misses what would normally be a goal, especially when you're playing on vanilla, you sort of know what to look out for when you've been playing you know, the length of time that I have. In comparison to the Soccer Revolution mod, the player selection issue severity is slightly less of a problem, but the skill frequency from the AI is also much less too, which is a bit of a shame because, you know, in the Soccer Revolution mod, we saw the skills that AI would often produce in the penalty box. I haven't seen that anywhere near as enough in this mod. Now this next point I want to try and get across is a little bit hard to explain because it's one of the bigger issues but at the same time it's a great thing as well. So what happens is is you'll receive these extended and new animations it brings out when two players collide or enter a physical battle with each other and these are new extended animations are great when two players collide in isolation which you're going to see here. But it's not great when there's a congested midfield and everyone's stumbling into each other, creating a bit of messy play. To be honest, it's not all that frequent, but I think I prefer it without these extended animations, to be honest. But these random physical battles can have a real nice impact, as you're going to see here, as Nkunku holds off his man and then slides along the floor to finish at the near post. The player and AI reaction time is sometimes worse too in players reacting to loose balls, especially on legend difficulty, which can make the game a little bit frustrating in all honesty. The referee accuracy is the same and whilst improved from vanilla, it still isn't perfect as some dubious decisions go uncalled for. This mod definitely opts towards realism, but I still don't think it's quite as good as Soccer Revolution in that regard. And in my opinion, Holland's All-in-One remains the best gameplay mod to date if you're looking for a nice balance of realism and fun arcade-like gameplay. It's, it's a very, very nice balance in between two. And that one is still, still by far the best in my opinion. And now let's just take a look at the mod review score sheet just to see how this compares. So this is the eFootball PES 2021 gameplay mod review score sheet which I'm using. So over here we have Holland's Soccer Revolution mod and that's probably the best one to compare against because it's very very similar in terms of what it's aiming for. It's aiming for realism. So here we are, Storm gameplay mod over this side. And then we've got ticks, which means it's improved over vanilla. Yellow means it's the same as, as vanilla or similar. And red means it's worse than vanilla. So going down the list, if we compare this purely to the, you know, the Soccer Revolution mod, because they're aiming for much the same thing in terms of offering realism, you'll notice that I think with the improved ball physics, the passing is better than it was in Holland Soccer Revolution mod. So I've scored it up, one up there. But if we scroll down, we can see the player selection issue severity that affected and hampered the Soccer Revolution mod has slightly lessened for the Storm mod, but going down, it's the player reaction time and the collisions which really hamper the Storm mod for me. Whilst the collisions are great in isolation, as I've pointed out, when there is a cluster of midfield players or in that, anywhere in that midfield area 
when players are stumbling over each other, it can be a little bit frustrating and not the best. And sometimes when it comes to the loose balls and reaction time, sometimes your players would collide into each other. They'd be like that, not even a half a second. It's like a quarter of a second, but it's so noticeable that your player just stands there and there's nothing he does for that quarter of a second. And it doesn't sound like a long time, but when you just see the ball just loose and you're trying to get the, your player to react to that loose ball and he doesn't move, it is a little bit frustrating. I would say it's aimed at a more realistic crowd, but... I'm just going to give it an 8 out of 10 simply for the fact that it's not as good as Soccer Revolution mod simply for the fact that those collisions and the player reaction time being worse. But it does improve in some areas, especially with the ball physics. It's probably the best it's been so far out of all of these mods. But for me, like I said, the Holland's all-in-one mod is still king at the minute. But hopefully he's going to release another mod soon and we can review that one as we go. If there's any mods out there that you want me to review or check out, then just drop a comment below and I'll be sure to review that as well. Anyway, that's all for me, ladies and gents. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.